So hi everyone. Um, now I have all the photos from the Kodak Eventix C300 camera in uh, Lightroom, and um, I'm gonna do some editing for you. So what I really don't want to do is I don't want to uh, change the white balance because I want that color shift that goes on with uh, certain um, films. What I really only want to do is uh, brighten it a bit and um, add some blacks and uh, contrast. Clarity. Just add a little punch to it. Let's see if there's any. Uh, there's some hair there, so get rid of that with the. Uh, cloning tool. Clone that out. See how that works. Click done. Some, uh, there's some more dust from the scanning, or hair, I guess you would say. Clone the dent. Overall, you can really see the grain of the film when you scan them in. Oop, change that around. It's great about the cloning tool, you can move it around in Lightroom and then. So you uh, don't have any weird looking uh, cloning going on. Well, there's a lot. Ooh. I don't know if you want to watch all this, but I may scan through this. So, I'm going to pause the recording right now, and I'll get back with you after I'm done all this cloning, because you don't want to watch this. So I went through some of them now, and fixed them up. Remember, I don't want to do anything with the white balance. I want to leave it the color shifty. Kind of way. I do like the way they look. Look at that one. That one's got the vignetting going on and the punchy color. It's really cool. Okay, so this is my last where I ended up. Oh, and I got rid of all the crazy freaking hairs and everything. I came along with scanning. This one's got really nice vignetting too. So bring the exposure up to plus 1.33. Add some blacks to get that color gone. There's a ton of yellow in it. Nice green. I like the green. That's cool. There's some clarity. Plus 52 in the clarity. I'm not going to touch the color. I'm not going to add sharpness or noise reduction. I'm just going to leave them basically as a scan would scan it in or the, what the film looked like. It's going to brighten it up. Add some blacks. Contrast. Clarity. And I'm going to copy all that information I just did which is cool. You can do this in Lightroom. Okay, I copied it. So the next picture is pretty much the same. All you do is click paste. Click paste, and it brings it right on in. Now I try to paste again on this one. Whoa, that looks good. Zoom in. I don't know if you can notice it on your screen, but the grain is really grainy. kind of like that. That's really cool. Reminds me when I was a little kid. And everything looked great. Oh, look at that colors pop on that one. I might brighten it just maybe a little bit of fill light. Maybe not. A 
little bit. I'm going to brighten this one. Ooh, nope. Bring that back down. And these are the ones I really like. I'm going to paste it. Oh, yeah, look at that. Look at that colors pop. That looks really cool. Bring it in one to one. Actually, the sharpness isn't bad on this one right here. I find that, yeah, just the closer you are with this camera, the, the sharper it is. And one more. Do the paste on that one, too. That's a little... Bring the blacks down a little bit on that. First, put the exposure up. Bring the blacks back. It's really yellowy, but I dig it. I like it, and that's not so yellow. Let's try the temperature. A little blue, maybe. Woohoo! Yeah, you can go crazy yellow. Crazy blue. If you double click, it'll go right back to where it was default. Here's a before and after. Of all the shots that I took with the Kodak Advantix C300 camera. After scanning it, working in Lightroom, Basically, this is what I do in Lightroom. I don't do like, I don't like doing a lot. I like to try to get it right in camera. But seeing as I never used an APS film before, it's all new. So there's the before and afters of the, oh, where is it? The Kodak Advantix. C300 camera system, APS um, film, all scanned in, done in Lightroom, and thank you for watching. I will, at the end, I'll put a little slideshow of the stuff, and uh, you can check it out if you'd like. Thank you for watching, everybody. Bye for now.